Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to do another Red Dawn Militia video. Uh, and for those of you that are new to the channel, I've done a video series where I look at the 1980s movie Red Dawn, uh, which uh, is about an alternate reality where the Soviets and the Cubans invade the United States and they're occupying half of it. Um, and, you know, we have a bunch of teenagers that are in the occupied uh, territory that form a militia to fight the Soviets. Okay? So I've been looking at um, realistic militia tactics that would work in that scenario. Uh, and I'm going to include a playlist in the comment section. So in case you missed some of those older videos, you can go check them out. So in those, in those other videos, I've talked about uh, um, militia tactics like L ambush, uh, the ambush. I've talked about how to move militia movements, you know, through the woods. I've talked about, um, you know, f uh, militia tactics in urban areas. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Red Dawn prolonged occupation. So the situation is that the, uh, uh, the war is not going well for us. Um, you know, we have not been successful in uh, dislodging the Soviets from, you know, from American occupied territory. Uh, and what's worse is that we're seeing a situation now where the Soviets are starting to get very comfortable and Americans in the occupied territory are also starting to get really comfortable. And that's really bad because if Americans are really comfortable with the Soviet occupation, they're not going to want to fight to kick them out. Um, and, you know, we're going to see a situation uh, like we saw during the uh, German occupation of France where you know, you're going to, you had a lot of businessmen that were forming, you know, uh, business relationships uh, with the, uh, with the Germans. And we also saw, for example, a lot of women uh, that were forming personal relationships with the, uh, you know, with the German soldiers and officers. So, so in a situation like that, where Americans are comfortable with the Soviet occupiers, you know, that's not a situation where they're going to want to be willing to fight them, you know, kill them. You know, and and make life so so miserable for the Soviets that they might want to consider leaving. Okay, that's not going to happen if the Americans are comfortable. Um, so we we need to we need to change this situation. So our attack strategy is going to change. In in the past, we talked about using different methods to attack the um, um, the Soviet units, right? You know, we talked about like using an L ambush to isolate small units and attack them. But the the goal there was basically to demoralize them, um, you know, to reduce their numbers, to get them to want to leave. We're going to change our strategy now so that we are attacking the Soviets near civilian areas, okay? Um, why are we doing that, okay? Well, what we need to do is we need to, we need to get the Soviets really uncomfortable uh, with the American population, and we need to get them to not trust the American population, okay? Because, um, again, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to break up this comfort level that these two have between the two of them. Um, so what we're going to do is what we're going to do is we're going to attack the Soviets in areas like markets, uh, you know, where the Soviets might be going to buy things, right? Um, you know, we're going to attack them possibly like in, the, in town hall meetings where um, you know the, the, the Soviets might be interacting with with local leaders. Okay, and we're going to attack them in uh, transportation areas like trains or airports, possibly. Um, where again, you got both Soviets uh, and uh, and American civilians, you know, um, you know, using, you know, you, you know, basically using airplanes and trains, you know, to to to, to get to different places. Okay, um, so we're going to attack the Soviets. Why are we doing that? Well, again, like I said, we're trying to get the Soviets not trusting Americans. We want them to look at every American uh, as a potential insurgent. Okay. Uh, and, and to accomplish this, what we're going to do is, we're, you know, we're going to blend in with the civilian population as much as possible. We're not going to be wearing camouflage, okay? Uh, we're not going to be looking like combatants. Uh, we're going to wear, you know, basically either work clothes or we're going to wear like casual clothes. Um, and first of all, that will allow us to, uh, you know, enter the area and leave the area with less chance of being identified uh, as a militia fighter, okay? Um, so that, that's the first thing that it allows, because basically once, once you, know, um, you know, once we attack the Soviets, um, you know, people are going to start running in different directions, you know, to get away from the, from the scene. And we're just going to, um, you know, we're just going to get into that, get in with the crowd and, and get out of the area that way. Um, so, so, so that's the, that's the first thing. It allows us to get in the area and 
out of the area. But what's also going to happen is that the Soviets um, at some point are going to probably start shooting back, okay? And there's a good chance that they're going to shoot at the wrong people, okay? And, you know, they're going to shoot at innocent people that are there that had nothing to do with the situation. And that's extremely unfortunate, right? Uh, but, uh, again, it's creating a situation where now our people, right, our Americans, are, getting, are going to start getting really uncomfortable with the Soviets shooting at them. Because what's going to happen is the family members of these people that are, you know, these Americans that are killed or injured, you know, are now going to want revenge. Okay, so this is a way of also, um, you know, in addition to, to, to you know, to, to keeping the hate alive between the Soviets and Americans, right, uh, it's also a way to recruit more people to our cause, okay. Uh, I mean, it's drastic, you know, but again, we need, if we don't get these two sides fighting each other, right, if we don't, you know, th there is absolutely no chance, uh, as far as I can tell, that we would ever dislodge the the Soviets from 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 you know American territory. Okay, so 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 we need to get Americans hating uh, Soviets, and you know if the Soviets shoot the wrong people, right, by mistake, I mean that that's one way that other Americans are going to start hating the Soviets, um, you know, rather than wanting to do business with them. Okay, um, now the other the other thing I'm going to add here is uh um you know um utilities. Food and fuel, you know, um, those are also areas that we would want to attack. Uh, why are we doing that? Well, here's the thing: if if our fellow Americans are comfortable, right? If they're going home every evening, uh, and they are, you know, you know, putting on the lights and watching television, you know, and they're comfortable in their homes, they're not going to want to fight the Soviets, you know, to remove them from American land. Okay, um, so that's not going to happen. So if you knock out the electricity. Um, you know that's gonna that's, that's gonna start making them really uncomfortable. And then if you cut off the fuel and the, and the food supplies, well, what's you know especially if you if you if you cut off the food supply or in the wintertime if you cut off the heating oil, right? If you attack the the the, the, uh, the places where oil might be, you know, because a lot of people depend on oil for heating. Well, what are these people gonna do? Well, they're gonna go to the Soviets, right? Because they're the ones they're the overlords, right? They're the ones that are in charge now. They're gonna go to the Soviets. Uh, and demand food from them, okay, or heating oil. Um, and what are the Soviets going to see? They're going to see a mob of Americans approaching them. And what are the Soviets likely to do? They're likely to start shooting at them. Um, now, again, this is a you know an unfortunate situation, but somehow we need to get our American, our fellow Americans, okay, uncomfortable with this um, with the Soviet occupation. Okay, so that is. Um, you know, that is one possible uh, solution. Now, there might be other ways. I have not thought of any. If you guys do have any, please put it in the comment section. I would love to hear uh, your ideas. Um, but as, as far as I can tell, as far as I can, you know, you know using, using all the knowledge that I have of, uh, of, of, of historical combat, right? Because basically, where, I, where am I getting all these ideas? I'm getting all these ideas from, you know, looking at prior conflicts around the world. Um, you know, historically, um, if, if, if the Soviet Union is, is occupying the United States, right, and the Americans are comfortable with that occupation, okay, we need to somehow break that comfort level. Um, and, and, and to do that, we need to get the Soviets, right, the goal here is to get the Soviets back to hating Americans, and we need to get the Americans back to hating the Soviets, and that's the only way they're going to want to fight each other. Uh, because if they're not, if, you know, if they don't hate each, other, if they don't hate each other enough to kill each other, then they're going to want to live together. And if they're going to, if they're willing to live together, then that's going to be the new norm. Okay, we're going to have a situation where, you know, basically half the United States is now, you know, um, you know, USSR. Okay, it's now it's now Soviet Union. So if you guys have any any other ideas, please put it in the comment section. I'm always open to new ideas. Um, and again, this is a hypothetical discussion. Um, you know, you guys may have some completely different idea that perhaps I haven't considered. So, you know, this uh, if you know this this goes both ways. You know, I'm giving you guys some some ideas. Maybe you guys would give me some ideas. Um, you know, for this type of a situation. Um, so yeah, definitely put in the comment section. If you're not a member of the channel, please subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.